In this video, I'm gonna go through what you don't need to revise for AQA Physics GCSE. Now, this means things that are not on the specification and are not on past papers on since 2018, but might be on other exam boards, so you might see them in revision guides and things, uh, but this is an AQA specific video of what you don't need to waste time revising so you can use your time effectively uh, to revise well before your real GCSE. So for the first half of the video, we're going to look at paper one, uh, what not to revise, what topic you might find it in, um, and an explanation for maybe what you should revise instead um, of that thing that you shouldn't be revising. At the end of the video, I'll also go through the difference between combined and separate science and what you should avoid if you're a combined science student. So the first thing that doesn't appear on the AQA specification is conduction and convection, which is a bit of an interesting one. Um, it'll be in the heat energy transfer topic. And instead, they want you to use phrases like thermal conductivity. They might use the word conduction, but only in the context of thermal conductivity, which is the rate of heat energy transferred through a material. Conduction refers to the transfer of heat through particles in a solid, and convection refers to particles um, spreading out and the gas or liquid becoming less dense. Uh, but it's not mentioned on specification, is not required knowledge on any past papers. The next thing is the inner workings of a power station. So things like burning coal, making water turn into steam, turning a turbine. Um, you could be asked about energy stores um, and things like that inside the power station, but you're not expected to know the exact workings for like a five or a six marker or something like that. Sankey and energy diagrams is something that is on other exam boards but is not on AQA. They look a bit like this where you've got an amount of energy in and you've got an amount of energy out and you've usually some of that is wasted as well and you could be asked to calculate for using the number of squares in the diagram. So instead um, the AQA exam board asks you to calculate efficiency uh, but not use these specific energy or Sankey diagrams. Something else you don't need to know about are the specific materials that will transfer electrons to, to them or away from them when talking about static electricity. So some revision guides or textbooks will talk about acetate um, and other materials like that that always accept electrons or transfer electrons away from them. You don't need to know the materials, you do need to know the principle about electrons being transferred, but you're not expected to know what materials that will be from and to unless it gives you enough information to figure that out from a question. Okay, continuing our list from paper one, and this is quite a big one, this one. Um, do not revise anything to do with alternating or direct current. In the specification, it talks about alternating or direct potential difference, which then produces current, but actually doesn't mention those phrases at all in the specification. This caught people out a couple of years ago when it came up. So... For alternating PD, you would talk about changing polarity um, or changing direction, not changing direction of current flow or anything like that. And there's something called beta plus decay, which you might see in other uh, exam boards, which isn't required for AQA. It's in radioactivity. We just deal with beta minus, alpha and gamma, and also neutron radiation, so emission of neutrons. Absolute zero is a really interesting thing to learn about, but if you're close to your exams, it's not worth revising um, because it's not on the specification. So in states of matter, it means that particles, uh, when they cool down enough, a substance of particles will stop vibrating, and that temperature is minus 273 degrees, but you don't need to worry about that for GCSE paper one. Also, things like uh, PET scans using an oscilloscope, they come up on edXL, but they're not on AQA, so leave them alone for your revision. Let's move on to paper two. This one's quite an interesting one. I only realized this a year or two ago, uh, which is the Doppler effect. In the space topic, um, you only need to know about redshift. And Doppler effect is a really useful analogy for it. Um, it's how sound waves change in wavelength if they're going towards you or away from you. Like with an ambulance coming towards you, it gets higher pitched. Um, but you don't need to be able to know it or define it. It's only used in the context of redshift for galaxies moving away from us in space. You also don't need to know that much about gears. Um, gear ratios you don't need to know about, you don't need to know about speeds of gears. In the topic of forces, you just need to know what gears do, which is transmit rotational forces, um, not to do with like the different speeds or different gears. Uh, you could be asked to calculate moments to do with them as well. Another thing you don't need to know about is refractive index, that is on other exam boards, um, and something called Snell's Law. Um, it's to do with the angles of refraction, just not in the AQA spec at all, so you can leave that right alone. Another thing you don't need to know about in paper two is all about telescopes um, and how they work. So detail of specific lenses used. Um, it's useful to be apply, able to be applied, but it's not knowledge you'd be required to know at the start of the paper. Uh, and the last thing is more of a phrase really is electromagnetic induction. Uh, for AQA, they don't use that in the specification at all. They only use the phrase generator effect. Um, so uh, electromagnetic induction is a similar type of thing, uh, but on your spec it says generator effect. So expect that on mark schemes and put it if you are referring to how electricity is produced essentially. 
So that's the list of paper one and paper two things you don't need to speak about at all, uh, but you might find in revision guides and in other exam boards. Uh, let's look if you're doing combined science, these are things you don't need to revise for um, your GCSEs. Paper one, the list is quite limited. The only things you don't need to worry about are nuclear fission, nuclear fusion, um, and pressure and volume in a gas. Everything else could come up. For paper two, there is an awful lot. Now this doesn't refer to higher tier or foundation tier things, just separate or combined. So in paper two, you don't know anything about space, which I think is really bad and a bad decision, but that's for another video. Uh, you don't need to know about lenses, about color, about black body radiation, uh, seismic waves, ultrasound, pressure in liquids or in gases, uh, how transformers work. You could be asked to use the equation, but not how they work. Uh, the generator effect, about moments, about gears, uh, conservation of momentum, you do need to know, but you don't need to know conservation of momentum and calculations, and impact forces, so things like how do airbags and seatbelts work. For those of you doing foundation tier, I've just included a summary of topics that you won't need to know about as well because they're higher tier only. So this is the list for combined science. Anything crossed out is higher tier only, so you don't need to worry about. And if you are doing separate science foundation, um, this is the list you need to look at. So anything crossed out, don't worry about. So as a general principle, I'm really, really not slagging off YouTube videos or revision guides here, but make sure you have a look at old past paper questions up to 2018 because um, they are much more trustworthy um, along with the specification, much more trustworthy than revision guides uh, and even my videos, okay? Um, so definitely don't believe everything you see and make sure you are revising as effectively as you can.